going on? It's your boy Low Key. You know, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina. Rocking with your boy, my boy DME TV. And let's kick this thing off. Low Key, what's been good, man? Ain't nothing much. Chilling, chilling, working, grinding. Where? Usual. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good to have you in the building, though, man. Oh shit! Thanks for having me. Yeah, been a minute. Saw you at the cookout. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. about a month ago, almost about a month ago. Yeah, I was a little situation right there. Yeah, big facts, man. Yeah. You know, uh, CEO, you know what I'm saying, Tatiana, that's my, that's my dog, you know what I'm saying, we got a... That's my right hand. Yeah, so we got a good, pretty good relationship, you know without, what I'm saying. Without so, her, a lot, a lot of things I do when possible. Word, right, man, so you got a, you got a good manager. Before yeah. I met her, it was sluggish. Yeah. And ever since I met her, it's just been, been moving, fast yeah. pace. Yeah, 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 most definitely, man. So he's dropping a new single, man. Let's let's talk about this man, single. L I E. Let's, let's get into it. L I E stands for loyalty is everything. You know, a lot of people lack loyalty. A lot of people don't know the real meaning of loyalty. And loyalty can be anything. Relationships, mm -hmm. with your homeboys or whatever. So and it's it's kind of like a the title kind of contradicts the song because L I E spells lie, and you know lying ain't loyal. So it kind of it kind it's kind of creative. In my perspective, but yeah, it's really a song about loyalty. You know, switching up on your team and staying with one team, man. Grind with that one team instead of trying to go to the boys who are already winning. You know, D ride and all that. Like, you grind with that one team, y'all build up to the top. It's gonna be a bond forever. And you know, produced by Casio. That's my other mother right here. So, that's a dope track. Okay. I mean, so how did you come up with that concept, man? Like when you when you, when, when you heard the beat, like how did you come up with the concept to the song, or you already had it written? Well, I I don't know. Like I was just Casio sent me the beat, and was like, I think I got one for you, and I was like, where are we sending it over? So you know, I got the email, and I get the email. And I'm, I'm sitting in the car listening. I listen to all my beats in the car. Like I don't care for headphones. I, I like to hear the car, cause that's where like the majority of people gonna play your music at in the car. Right. So you know. I'm listening, like, man, this is a beat ride. So I'm telling myself, like, I got something for this. And then, all my music comes from things I go through. So everything I go through, that's where my music comes from. So all my music is pure and true. So at the time, you know, you're dealing with fake homeboys. Little right, reality, reality music. Yeah, I got right. reality. So, I mean, it just hit me. And in my head, I was like, loyalty is everything. And I wrote it on my, I write all my music in my notepad. And I was looking at it, and I was like, the first three letters of each, first letter of each word spells out lie. So that's kind of crazy. So we're gonna call it L I E, and that's how that came about. Okay. So when when you got in the booth, man, and 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 and, and, and you you did your thing, how did you feel when it came out? Did it, did it come out like how you wanted to come out? Oh well, it came out better. Okay. Cause like I, all my songs I write. They sound good to me in my notepad, so I know when I put it on a beat, it's gonna sound better, cause I can, you know, I can hear it and figure out what what can I do better. I listen to a song for like a month until we put it out, and we we sit on it, and listen, and in the booth we just like after the first verse, I was just like, yeah, that's it, cause I always do my hooks first, so I know like how my verse gonna come in and how the rest of the song gonna play out. So after that hook, that first verse, I was like, okay, this hard. And most of the time, my second verse gonna come harder than my first verse, just cause I'm already in that vibe and I'm already flowing. It's like a train. You ain't gonna stop the brakes on the train like that. Right. You gotta slow it down. Right. So once that ball rolling, I just I just keep flowing. So after that first verse, it was just, it was like hammer down. Okay. I wanna go back to something, man. You said that before you got what Jackson Brand Management, that you know things weren't moving. Oh, yeah, man. It was moving slow. It wasn't moving right. It wasn't feel like it wasn't moving in the right direction. Right. Tell me, tell me some of the things that you wasn't doing before you got with JBM and now. Well, uh, like I had no direction. I was just I was just throw a song on SoundCloud. No, no promotion. No DJs behind it. Like I didn't understand that concept because I was new. Like I only been making music for like a year and a half, almost two years. Okay. So I'm still fresh at it. So. Many, many, many of the things I'm doing now, I'm still learning. Like most of the stuff I do is new to me. So everything was new, and I, I just didn't know. I didn't know what to do in certain situations. So I would drop a song only on SoundCloud. It wasn't no Spotify. It wasn't no iTunes. None of that. And the shows I was getting, 
it, like I was trying to shoot for the stars to get more of a bigger crowd instead of starting from the bottom and working my way up. That's one thing TJ taught me. Like when you making music, you're not just gonna jump to Billboard. So right. You gotta start on the street. So, right. So it's a process. Yeah. So right. It's a, it's a big process. I was lost, and she taught me how to network. I had no networking skills. Like, okay. I was just. Like, That's dope. a big thing. Yeah. Okay. And as far as networking, like what are you doing now as far as network? Kind of give us like some of the things you have done. Uh, like, like most people will get like a DJ contact and they expect the DJ to hit them up. Right. But like DJ talking, like you follow up with DJ, hit them up every day, gain a relationship with them. You know what I'm saying? Work, right. work a relationship out. So then it becomes deeper than the music. So right. one day, you know, they'll just be like, hey. You know, I done threw your song on this such and such such. Not saying that we want handouts or nothing, but that's how relationships work. I right. scratch your back, you scratch mine. Right. Uh, following up, as in like reaching out to certain people, uh, sending your music out. You know what I'm saying? You just got, you just can't be shy with it. Like most people, scared of face to face interactions. That was new to me. I had to do that. Um, it's just really, it's all about communication. Definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. So I see you, uh, you you on the New Music Wednesday with Coalition DJ. How, how's that been working out for you? Oh, it's good. That lot of feedback is crucial. Right. Because, like, nine times ten, like, when I first did it, they didn't know me at all. So they could have told me your music trash. Like, yeah. Just because they got a bad vibe from me or they didn't like where I'm from. But, you know, being with them, it shows you that not only your team likes your music, and they hearing your music for the first time, and then you getting that live feedback right in your face. Okay. So that, that's crucial to you. So when they give you them thumbs up, you know, it boosts your confidence a little bit. Right. Okay. And well, and and what's what's your next date on on uh, the New Music Wednesdays? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Nineteenth. We gonna be in Charleston. Okay. Yeah, we gonna be in Charleston. Um, and we got two more dates, if I'm not mistaken. I know it ends in Greenville, which is on the 29th. Okay. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong though. Okay. What what what's your goals, man? In this, in this music business, what is, what what goals do you have? Let's let's talk, let's say another year from now, then another five years from now. What are your goals? Another year from now, I expect like my name to be one of the talked about. Being that you know when they when they make that list for the top South Carolina artists, I want to be top five. Right. If not top one. Right. SC top twenty. If you ain't first, you losing. Yeah. So that, uh, I want my own buzz, like no cosigns. That's my year goal. Okay. My five year goal, you know, that's labels, endorsements. Uh, not, you know, I put a put a face on my city. And not just because I rap. Right. Start organizations like, so I, I'm, I'm a give back type of dude. Okay. So I, I want to be rich and wealthy like, like that too, but I also want my city to recognize me, not just as a rapper, but as a, a caretaker type thing. Okay. Like, it's a lot of homeless people on the street. I don't like to see stuff like that. Yeah. Not saying it. Some of it's they fault, but still, I don't mean, you know, because it could have been one mistake they made that got them there. Right. So everybody, everybody deserves a reset button. So I'm definitely. that type of guy. Yeah. Some of them kids. So yeah. Exactly. That's definitely a sad thing to see. So that's my five year goal. I have like five, ten organizations out there giving back, back to schools putting kids in homes, all that stuff right there. Okay, yeah. okay, most definitely, man. So um, kind of, let's talk about who were some of the artists that inspired you coming up. Coming up, I like Drake, mm -hmm. Lucci. I'm a big, um, I'm a big Lucci fan. Okay. Because he tells stories. Okay. That's why I'm enjoying my music, it's true. Right. True stories. Like, I ain't with all that. I could talk the biggest gun, or I could shoot the most people, or I got the most dope or money. I don't care about stuff like that. Cause that's why you get tried in the streets. Yeah. Cause where I'm from, you talk the game, you got you got act it out. Like, you got you got be about it. Um, shoot, I like older artists though. I listen to a lot of older R and B. Okay. Like D'Angelo and Maxwell. Okay. Kim. But I don't know. I just feel like I can't make R&B music, but that it inspires me because you know you want to you want to have that diversity. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and definitely like older people like Biggie, you know, 
Rakim, all them boys back in the day, Mob Deep, all them. Cause you gotta know your history. Definitely, definitely. And that's supported, man. A lot of artists, um, I think a lot, especially the younger generations come out, they don't. They just, get, know, they just know the pumps and yeah. the pussies. Uh, they yeah, they just know the artists now. They don't go back and receive. Yeah. I gotta know your history, you know what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. A lot of the artists came up when I was coming through, and that's what I listened to. And even a lot of older artists, they don't <laughs> like New, uh, the newer artists, but. Like I had a conversation with somebody saying that, you know, sometimes you got to sit them down, man, listen, you need to study this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It could help you. You yeah. could see something, you could get some inspiration, you know what I'm saying? A it's, lot of these new artists on it, like that crazy stuff, all the hair and all that. Yeah. Busta Rhymes been on that stuff. Yeah, this, that stuff, that stuff is, it, it's, it, it's, it's coming back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's but coming it, back, but it ain't new. It is, it's not new, you know what I'm saying? A lot of artists... See, that's just new, like, oh, he tripping, but y'all don't realize it. Nah. People. You got Busta around back in the day. Eminem was crazy back in the day. Yeah. Like you got all these crazy artists that, but y'all only see the new artists who doing the crazy stuff because y'all don't know y'all history. Exactly, exactly. Definitely. So, yeah. so tell everybody where you from, man. Uh, I'm What's from that? Columbia, and if you dig deeper in Columbia, I'm from 48. Okay. Everybody know about it. Okay. Um, 48 is just. It's either you make it or you don't. It's all love down there. Uh, yeah, it's, it got like a little bad reputation, but if you if you if you if you from there, you know like we don't bother nobody who don't bother us. Now that's not no gang type, no gang. Yeah, forty eight is more like a family. We we don't promote violence. A lot of people see it like they promote violence down there. Everybody down there is not violent. Everybody down there ain't a shooter. Everybody down there not a drug dealer. You know, it's, it's different people down there for different reasons. Right. And that's any neighborhood. But yeah. it's really all love. We show love to everybody. We love the elderly. Like we look out for them. And we just majority we just like to come together. And we look out for each other. Okay, okay. It's all about that yeah. loyalty. time. First song. What's the first song you ever recorded? Ever recorded was a song called Aladdin. Mm -hmm. And you know, I wasn't even a rapper then. I just I met this dude in college, one of my one of my close friends. And we, he was like, man, you should try to make a song with me or something. Because he was already rapping and stuff. So we made a song, you know, it was straight. And people, we got good feedback on it. So it was like, man. I, I like the love I was getting. So I was like, I'm trying to go further with this. You know, so we just kept, kept dropping, dropping. But my first real song, like big song, was Two Fire. Okay. And that's produced by Jesse. Okay. So, um, that's, that's definitely a hot track too, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah that was a hot track too. Yeah. But people say they like, he better. And I'm rocking with him on that one. I'm rocking with both of them. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. They both they both hot though. Yeah. You really don't want to miss neither one of them. Yeah. Yeah. And the video for L.I.E. Like, gonna be ten times better than two five. Okay. And and you, what's your plans on recording that? When you plan on recording that? Uh, sometime in like within the next month. If okay. not earlier than that. Okay. We just trying to work things in task schedule. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Definitely. We'll be on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Make sure you tag us and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's gonna be gonna be tagged and I'll be tagged in it. So we love Yeah, so we definitely help you and share that and, and, and get that out there. And um Yeah, right. Push you man. How how is it working with Casio, man? It's 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 definitely a good thing to have a producer in house. In house, it's definitely so that's a great. And Casio, she's a dope, she's a dope producer. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I sat down with her uh, um, a couple of weeks ago, and she was going through some stuff. I'm like, damn. You know, I, I already talked to her. We already got a rapport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She our interview with Demi TV, and we met different you know events and stuff yeah. like that, and chopped it up. But that's yeah. my first time sitting down with her. How? How is it working with her, man? Like, it's amazing. Like, when I go to her house and we just, like, she teach me how to make little beats and little sounds okay. and stuff. I mean, we we'll cook up on the spot. Like, we can make a song like quick as, quick as anything. Like, but we just don't really. We be joking around a lot. Yeah. And then I hit a pop up, and like nine times out of ten, the, the, the beats like that be hits. Like she just sent them to me. Cassio, that's like my sister though. Like we got we got a bond before music. Okay. We, you know, that's like the same thing with TJ, same thing with Flex, like anybody on the team, it's a, it's a bond before the music. Because it ain't, JBM, it's not just a, a, a team, like, it's a family. Right, right. Like, we all literally look out for each other. Right. Like if somebody fall down, somebody gonna pick it, pick, somebody gonna pick you up on that team. But Cassio, 
She a real one. And she's so underrated. People people look up to Definitely. All these people who are in the game and stuff. But she slept on because she she can do the same thing these people are but better. Exactly. And she diverse. She can make R and B shit. She can make rap. She can hit a she can do a pop beat. Man, she she can do any beat you ask her to make. So I would definitely shop with her if I was you. Hell and her yeah. prices ain't bad. She ain't trying to bust heads. She ain't trying to get rich quick. None of that. Definitely. She got she, everybody like everybody got a budget plan. So if you work with her, she gonna work with you. That's what's up, man. But she definitely she hot. That's what's up. She hot, but she gonna she gonna have a, she gonna she making a name for herself. Wow. Well, definitely. Okay. So anything you wanna give any shout outs, man? Anybody? Shout out DME TV, of course. Shout out JBM. I love my team. Shout out Forty Eight. You know, shout out anybody who rocking with my music. Shout out Tavon Slump, the Pearls Tees. Go shop with them. That's love right there. You know, just keep expecting new music, new content, and it only gets better from here. Okay. We got another event tomorrow, Charleston. Look out for that address. It's on my flyer though. Check my Instagram out, official underscore low key. Twitter the same thing. Facebook is just low key. Uh, we got new music Wednesday. Charleston, South Carolina, September 19th. Make sure you come check me out.